remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? In a scene reminiscent of a Trump campaign rally, a vegan protester stormed the stage at Joe Biden's victory speech on Super Tuesday, got tackled by two unlikely linebackers, the candidate's wife, Jill Biden, and his senior advisor, Simone Sanders. Biden spoke Tuesday night in Los Angeles after a banner election night, which by that time included winning Virginia, Alabama, Minnesota, Tennessee, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. Let's get something straight. Wall Street didn't build this country. You built this country. The middle class built this country. And the unions built the middle class, the former vice president said before a protester holding a Let Dairy Die sign ran on stage. Anti-dairy protesters have been turning up at most political events in the state this election season. A security guard eventually stopped the protester and pulled her away as she chanted, Let Dairy Die! Let Dairy Die! Let Dairy Die! Let Dairy Die! <laughs> Joe Biden's wife, Jill, immediately threw herself between her husband and the protester. She even went as far as grabbing her hands and violently pushing her away. Now, I'm making fun of this, but the thing is, this could have been very, very serious. What if she had a gun? The thing is, is Joe Biden doesn't have Secret Service. That's really not, I don't think that's afforded to a candidate until he becomes a nominee. He has to become the nominee first, and then he gets Secret Service protection. Uh, something tells me that we're going to get some more cases like this. Now, check this out, family. A second protester stormed the stage, and JB's senior advisor, Simone Sanders, she got really gangster with it. She ran after the protester, tackled the protester, and dragged her off stage like a dog. And them Democrat wives and workers, man, they ain't, they ain't playing no games. I think the Democrats, you know, we, we talk about the, the candidates, but what about the candidates' significant others? Wouldn't that be something? What about a boxing match? Boxing match between Jill Biden and Melania. You know, Melania would not have done all of that. Melania would have stepped back and gave her more access. <laughs> and I'll put a link in the description, but I want you to watch Joe Biden's reaction. He actually uses... <laughs> He used his wife's body as a shield. <laughs> Joe Biden, he one of them dudes, if he was a drug dealer, he, he put a child in front of him. He used his own child to protect himself. Yeah, I am certain that if Melania had been on that stage with Trump, Melania would have stepped aside to give the attacker easier access. You know, she can't wait to collect that insurance policy. <laughs> oh, man. Absolutely hysterical. Not really fair, though, you know, because Trump, Trump would have ran if he had saw a lighter. You know, heat melts plastic. Yeah, Trump is not a fighter. If not for a secret service, some security guards, or even his voters. If somebody got out the Trump, I guarantee you he would run. I, I know for a fact he would not throw a punch. He might like throw it like a scat, like something like that, like do something like that, you know. 
I could see him doing that because you know he his wrist is very flexible. He do this a lot with his, his watch him, watch him. You know, he be doing stuff like that a lot. You gotta watch him. Uh, so I'm think his wrists are too are too uh, fragile. I'm thinking that if he tried to punch something, he break his whole his whole hand would probably break. Probably would break his whole his whole arm because I'm thinking like all of those arteries and stuff that's attached, you know, that comes from here to here, you know, all of this stuff would be affected uh, if it was trunk. And, and his arm would probably fall off. Like his whole arm would probably just detach from his body, you know, because he's so soft and moist. Imagine what they would be saying right now if Michelle Obama had taken the exact same action. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.